Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Relative Security. One of the comments mentioned to add one more video regarding the difference between the IDS and XDR. So I would start with this, that the IDR, IDS and the XDR, they are two very different solutions. And the approach that they take is also different. And we will talk about a little bit of a background on both solutions also, just to clarify a little bit. So we'll start with the IDS. IDS is a cyber security solution to detect the intrusions in your environment. As we discussed in one of the other videos also, it has like two parts. It could be detecting the intrusions based on the host, the data it collects from the host or network-based intrusion detection systems. How does it do? It will detect either the signature-based or anomaly-based. If it sees a behavior that has been observed before within the environment or within the signature database it has, it will deem it fit. But if there is something else, it will trigger an alarm or it will trigger the required information for the relevant stakeholder. Now, the way it is working, if you focus on this, IDS is the next step to your firewall. Firewall is doing pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> IPS would be the next step for, to from the IDS. IDS is detection solution. IPS is preventing also intrusion detection system and then intrusion prevention system. And that's it. They are just detecting the solution. Uh, sorry, they are just detecting the intrusion and it is just one solution standalone solution that is not integrated with anything, with anything. It is just sitting in your environment, just like a firewall, and it is detecting the intrusions, depending on if it's a host-based or network-based. Now, if you talk about XDR, XDR is an extended detection and response thing. In the case of IDS, you have an agent in case of host-based. For the next network-based, you most probably will have a device. In the XDR, it's a complete solution that is collecting and automatically correlating data across multiple security layers. It is going to collect data from endpoints, from servers, from networks, from email gateways, or any other device within your organization. Now this is also doing the correlation. Advanced machine learning and advanced algorithms are being applied within the XDR to create the alerts. And not only creating the alerts, it is also going to respond to those alerts. Now in the case of IDS, it is only detecting the intrusions. In the case of XDR, it is not only detecting using the advanced algorithms, it is also responding to those um, intrusions. Now, even if we say that, is it similar to IPS? Like IPS is also responding. It is intrusion prevention system. But here's the difference. Even if we talk about IPS instead of IDS, that IDS is only detecting, IPS is also preventing, like that's a response, but that's a basic response. It is only preventing it from execution or it is only preventing it from um, expanding beyond such certain network parameter. In the XDR, it is not only preventing, it is also taking appropriate actions in terms of response. Now, in the case of XDR, the proper response would be that not only block it at a firewall level with a deny rule, but also add it to our list, maybe whitelist or the blacklist. XDR also enables you to add responses, to execute responses using different security layers. It could be email, it could be endpoint, it could be anything. It is collecting data from different um, uh, data across different sources also within your environment. So IDS mainly focuses on the detection of the intrusions based on different approaches like signature or anomaly. 
in the case of XDR, there is advanced machine learning and AI involved that is doing the detection. Data is collect, being collected from different multiple security layers, email endpoint, and the response is also much advanced than we can imagine for the uh, IDS or the IPS. I hope this clarifies the difference between the IDS, XDR, and we discuss a bit about the IPS also. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video.